not your average guy never mind your own youtube channel we're at a perfect location here very nice sun is shining you can fly into that canyon you can fly into that canyon you can fly in that canyon over there over the ridge there is a is a lake i don't know if we can make it up there but we'll see i would like to do a test to see if this intelligent return to home 3d internal mapping stuff works from dji and i've i've been thinking like in what situation could this be useful and the only thing i can think of is uh when there are two objects and you're flying like behind one object then you lose signal it wants to return to the path uh, where it came from and when it still does not have signal it wants to fly back and then it has to find another obstacle and then the question is what is it going to do is it going to go up and over it what it would normally do or is it going to take the shortest route back like it internally mapped right what do you think it will do i think it should work i mean pff, dgi says it will work so uh, i find this big hill rock thing so that's the second object and then we have the tree but the objects have to be higher than 20 meters so what i'm going to do i'm going to stand below in the water in the stream in the bedding i'm going to launch a drone from there because then the tree is probably higher than 20 meters and then i'm going to make an s i'm, I'm going to fly around a little bit i'm going to show you a little bit of the environment over here and then i'm going to fly behind this big pile of rock lose signal power off my transmitter because it should not get the signal back and then we will see what happens like this record and first let's see something of the environment i'm gonna fly with the goggles because otherwise i cannot see what's behind the tree and the rock what if i can fly safely there i have to focus somewhere in the distance because that is something you can easily forget the sun has disappeared a little bit so that that's going to be my focus and i hope i don't accidentally touch the screen while i'm flying I can see a very bright sky. I'm going to try D-Log just for a minute, just to see if that's better. Uh, I can see more. Okay, let's, let's fly in D-Log, even though it's a pain to correct it afterwards, but we do want to see something. All right, I'm going to fly this way. I got propellers in view. By the way, I did order ND filters. With ND filters, you can prevent this, but um, they were not available soon enough. I couldn't take them with me. Maximum flight altitude reached. All right, I'm at 120 meters. It's safe to put a higher distance because I'm in a canyon over here max altitude we're gonna put that <clears throat> to 500 they will complain but that's okay and then this is a nice canyon isn't it it's very nice uh, let's have a look over the ridge if we can see something of this lake that is behind there maybe on this side somewhere i think we can see it because now i'm at 250 meters so this is 300 i think i can go 420 and then i, I still 
I'm still not flying higher than 120 meters above this uh, ridge. Can we see something? So I'll fly 120. I will not go higher. I will go forward a little bit. I have to keep my antennas perpendicular to the drone to get a good signal. I'm going forward a little bit. Or maybe all of this is still a canyon and, and the lake is over there. I cannot see where the lake is. That's the other side. Ah, there is the lake! Yeah! I was looking in the wrong direction. That's nice. You see how I move the antenna? So, if I move it like this, I think I should do it a little bit more like this. And now I got full signal. All right. Nice view, okay? Very, very nice. And this, this is the rest of the island. Very nice. Wow. And again, I'm, I'm at 120 meters above the highest ridges over here, so it should be fine. Okay, let's, let's go back. And it means we're going down. I have to direct my antenna towards my drone. And now you can see the area where I am. It's exactly in the middle. And it will take some time, of course, before, uh, before we're back. So we can have a look around at the other canyons over here. We can see the big tree. And also, you can see the, the hill here, this hill that I want to fly behind. But I want to make sure it mapped the tree. So what I'm going to do, I want this drone to know where this tree is. So if I hang out in, in my goggles, I cannot see this. But, ah, DJI GO app stopped. I always wonder what happens if the software in the drone crashes. It can see the obstacles, it says it's 10 meters away. So basically we already know now that it can kind of see that obstacle. I'm going to fly around it. I want to make sure it can see it from this side too. So, we got the propeller shadows in view, so it should have, yeah, you can see it, it has the tree, all right, it also knows that it can fly around it. And now, we're going to fly behind this rock. Let's, let's fly pretty low, like this. So it will be able to see objects here too. There's a big rock here. Alright, so I'm going to fly in here. I still got a good signal. And then what it's going to do... It sees... Obstacles or what? Aircraft disconnected for some reason. And now... It should come back. And... We just have to wait and see what it's doing. I have no idea what it's doing. It just disconnected. 
I'm going to put off the transmitter. I can hear it. It's just hoovering there. I can see it. I can see it's hoovering there. And now it, it comes back. It flies over the tree. It just flies over the tree. And I have, I have to catch it. I have to catch it. It went over the tree. I could not see it if it went back a little bit. I think it did. Oh, we might see that on the log, on the flight log here. I was flying like this and it came like straight back. Let's have a look at the settings. It crashes again, sensors, and then uh, advanced. And now it disconnected again. I don't even got connection with my aircraft like this. What is it? Now I got connection and it disconnects again. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna stand a little bit away from it. just app crashes again let's choose crashes again nothing happened and um, it crashes again okay so disconnect here restart the entire tablet oh wait a minute I have to stop the screen recording otherwise that file will be broken restart the tablet the Sun is going away a little bit more cloudy yeah the only thing I can think of that is it was already higher than the tree and then it is at this height and it's not going to go lower when it wants to return to home it so it was at this height and there was nothing there so it, it came just flying straight back and restarting the tablet takes a very long time just power off it's not doing anything well that's funny because Can you give like a hard reset to this tablet? Like four seconds or something? Yeah, all right, okay. I mean, even my tablet crashes on the DJI GO app 4. Okay, tablet is up and running again. Right, we got connection. So what were we talking about? Ah, I wanted to show you guys that advanced vision settings Enable downward visioning. Positioning is on. It crashes again. I'm not doing anything, you know. We're not even flying and it crashes. Alright. Settings. Sensors. Advanced vision settings. Return to home. Remote obstacle avoidance is off. Oh, that's the problem. Is that? I cannot even read it. Uh, when enabled, the aircraft will adjust its return to home route automatically to avoid obstacles and use the gimbal will not respond to any commands. It's off, but this is new to me, actually. So maybe with the new update, they included this so you can switch it on or off. yeah because turn on smart return to home that is that it will automatically ascend so this is new okay it's logical that it's not working so i have to turn this on i just discover that right now um do we dare to do another test <laughs> with this buggy software well we are here now so um We got the tree. We want to make sure it sees the tree. It sees the tree. At seven and a half meters. We're gonna fly around the tree.
like this so we are sure that it sees this as an obstacle and it can 3d map it it can now we're going into this area a little bit higher a little bit forward like this it will be difficult to retrieve it from here if it's if it fails but it's i don't think it's impossible the signal is getting bad i'm just turning around so to make sure that it can see it i won't i don't want to be higher than the than the tree um so i think i'm gonna look down wait and right above a tree maybe um maybe like this there's a there's an obstacle here too this one this ridge and when i'm behind that one for sure i will not be higher than the tree i think i can safely do that um all right so let's let's go hide behind this thingy and go down like this it sees obstacles it wants to go up a little bit go forward a little bit and i'm gonna turn off the transmitter and then see what it happens it goes up and it comes flying straight back at me i don't know when you will ever need this feature i think when you do normal flying maybe in 0.1 percent of the situations or even less you might run in, into a situation that this is useful i cannot even create a situation where you can use this or where i can demonstrate that it's working so nice feature I didn't see it. I don't think it's very useful. What is useful is what we showed the other day that it flies a little bit back on the path that it had been going. That's good. But this 3D mapping, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope you like my tests. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel give your comments and thoughts and everything down in the box below and see you on the next video